What's up YouTube? Mitt was to review here back again. So hopefully you're coming over to watch this vid because you saw my post on Instagram. If you didn't, you should be following me on Instagram at Midwest underscore tool underscore review. And if you don't have a uh, Instagram account, I would strongly advise that you do. There's some awesome content. Most of your YouTubers, etc., are um, on you on Instagram, and uh, you can find out a lot of a lot of cool stuff. You know, just in general, a lot of people with like-minded. Uh, ideas and philosophies etc but whatever okay so i went to uh a hoarder sale today they call it an estate sale but it's more or less a hoarder sale and you're gonna see my my shop cat walking the frame here and uh the guy had all kinds of cool stuff and i mean i'm gonna go back tomorrow there was so much thing so many things to look at i just could not possibly wrap my head around it and uh every little nook and cranny had a tool so we picked up these Edelbrock, uh, I guess they're intakes, intake cleaners. Um, and uh, they are, man, the mosquitoes are out in the daytime, geez. Uh, they are new old stock. They are, I guess, the vintage ones. I don't even know what that is. That's something that was tucked in here. Oh, that's the... Uh, connection piece there I guess is how you clip it onto the vehicle or to the um, the uh, what do you call it can't think of it throttle throttle body yeah uh, but anyway yeah these are original made this says made in Taiwan but uh, Edelbrock cover so maybe they're not vintage I thought they were but these say made in Taiwan so they're not but we picked these guys up today and I thought, you know what, maybe I can't use them, but maybe somebody who's, you know, building a, a hot rod or whatever, and they could possibly use them. So I figured buy them and let them go. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna just go ahead and flip those for a couple bucks. Um, you guys may have seen these cobalt wrenches. These are the cobalt USAs, and these are the ones that have the uh, date code on there, which is, the snap-on date code, I, I believe, and they were built by Williams, I want to say. Um, but this is, uh, these wrenches are incredibly hard to find. I found one wrench, so I grabbed it. Hopefully there'll be more uh, when I go back tomorrow and I can get more of those. Uh, also, there was a series of Mac wrenches, just kind of everywhere around you dig, there you find another wrench, another wrench. These are all Mac wrenches, including this old, man, the bees are out too, including this old guy here. I'm going to clean them up. Uh, this one here is a Cornwell. Looks like they're all SAE. Um, got a uh, air gauge here. This is Bridgeport, which I didn't know Bridgeport even made, um, you know, gauges like that. They had no clue. Got a snap-on wrench here this is uh god what size is it nine sixteenths perhaps um also got um a couple of these these are um i want to say these are for a tie rod adjustment tools so we got a 12 and a 13 both of those are snap-on and then lastly, we got um, this OTC, um, probably a uh, uh, CO2 or O2 sensor socket or something like that. Um, I, I don't, I think I have one of these somewhere. I'm not 100% certain, but picked this up as well. And then, sorry, you guys may hear a lot of cars going by. I'm sitting outside doing this video. These Felpro, I think these are old. These Felpro, um, um, fender covers. Uh, I know I have a Cornwall one, but I saw these sitting there and I figured why not grab them. So I grabbed two of these. I probably will get rid of one and keep one for myself. I don't need two of them. Seeing how I already have one. So my wife got a, um, she got a, uh, a chest set and I thought we got something else. Maybe not. But all of this, guys, for um, 45 bucks a day. 
So I think that's a pretty decent deal. Um, probably could sell these for 15, 20 bucks a piece and then basically got my money right back in just the uh, air cleaners and then just keep all the, the tools. So um, I don't plan on getting, ready, getting rid of any of the wrenches. I'm gonna keep those for myself and I'll probably end up selling one of these Felpro um, fender covers. But this was just 45 minutes or less of digging around. I found all of this. Like I said, I'm going to go back tomorrow. Uh, this guy, I believe, was a bit of a hoarder. Uh, he just kind of had stuff everywhere. Um, so it's kind of like whatever you could find was what you could find. Uh, I'm going to show you guys something else that I got today. Let's see here. I've got to turn off my radio. Hang on a second here. Okay. Oh, I didn't show you guys. Maybe I don't think I did. I also got my 50 inch screen television set up out here. Yes, this is a 50 inch. Why do I have such a big screen in my garage? Well, a neighbor had it for sale or not for sale. She had it out on her curb um, and she posted it in our, our association um, that she was going to get rid of it. If anybody was interested, they could come have it. They come get it. So I reached out to her and uh, we kept on missing each other on time, but eventually I was able to get over there and grab it. And she told me, she said, the only thing that's wrong with it is the, um, what do you call it? The uh, HDMI cable, the HDMI port. I don't know if she realized it, didn't realize there was two, but the one on the side does not work, but the one in the back does. And this is the screen for my Roku or whatever, but TV works fine. There's no issues with it. And uh, yes, it's my new uh, shop television, if you want to call it. Didn't cost me a single dime, so not too bad. Um, one thing that came in the mail today, and man, I'm itching like crazy. One thing going out to that guy's house, um, he had he had a lot of mosquitoes out there. But something that did come in the mail today, I was not expecting it. Um, it was kind of a shocker. Just killed a mosquito in my garage. Uh, was this set of Universal Swivels. Uh, right Tool, once again, shout out to Right Tool. They hooked it up and they sent me a set of metric swivels it's not the large set it's just a what is it a five piece set um get your part number here 351 three eighths drive set five piece and it goes from uh 10 to 15 and i think it skips like an 11 and it skips at 11 and a two no yeah 10 12 13 14 15 so yeah um skips uh what did i say 11 but uh we're gonna be putting these guys to the test if they work anyway like the um the deeps that i already have i'll show you guys those this is a set of deep ones that we have actually i have two sets of these now um but this is a set of deeps that i have and uh they work tremendously well so if the shallows work anything like the deeps then we're going to have an awesome um an awesome set of uh sockets there to play around with they also sent me yesterday like i said i wasn't expecting that they sent me yesterday a set of um deeps but these are sae so shout out to them once again they must have saw one of my videos where i said hey i'm missing i don't have any sae sockets really and uh they hooked it up so thank you right tool for that there's your part number for those um, is that the same? No, it's different. Let me get that knife where I chop off a foot here. So let me go back around. Yeah, 351 for those. I will say Right Tool has some very simple part numbers. Nothing too complex whatsoever. 314 for those. And if you're interested, um, 352. So we are sitting pretty, guys, when it comes to impact sockets from good old USA made Right Tool. Um, guys, you got to check out Right Tool. Uh, go to their website, check out their tools. They have a uh, really nice catalog that you can go through and find various tools that they offer. Right Tool, been in business since 1927, family owned and operated since that time. Uh, great, great company to work with. Very responsive. You know, me being a sponsor, um, you know, obviously I'm going to be wor working with them closely, trying to test out new products, kind of learn more about who they are. And uh, they've been very supportive. If I've asked for a tool, um, they've no problems asked, no questions asked. They sent it to me without any pushback. 
and um, as you can see there, they've, they've treated me very, very well. Um, and uh, I couldn't be more happier to represent them and talk about their tools. So on my next video, what we're gonna do, you guys know I've got a lot of high quality, high end sockets and tools in general. My collection pretty much is Right Tools, Snap-on, Mac and Matco. Um, I do have some other lower tier brands that, that have been given to me for just test and review purposes. But the majority of my collection is, is, is high end tools. I mean, if you look at anywhere in my box, you're gonna see the very, very best um, of tool brands represented in my, in my setup. That drawer always seems to stick. But um, anything from screwdrivers to pliers to ratchets to sockets, wrenches, you name it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at um, sockets in general. And we're gonna talk about um, the profiles, right? Um, what's the difference between a chrome molly versus a chrome vanadium? I think people think that they understand, but I don't think they truly understand. So we're gonna talk about it from a metallurgical standpoint. We're gonna find out, I'm gonna give you my opinion of it. We're gonna also talk about some differences between some of the top tier brands. So let me see here if I got, I could pull one off. This one here is a Mac. So we'll look at the Mac broaching and air profile. We will compare that to a snap-on profile, if we can get that to show up. Okay, a little dirty in there, it's getting used. We're gonna compare that to a right tool profile. And I believe I've got a Matco here. I'm gonna compare that, compare that to a Matco profile, right? And we're gonna talk about why I think that Chrome Vanadium versus Chrome Molly doesn't really matter. Um, and what truly matters is the design of the socket. And um, a lot of these, the, the top tier brands like Snap-on Mac uh, and Right Tool, they have proprietary alloys that uh, they've modified maybe a chrome vanadium or a chrome molly uh, chemistry and they've added or added to or have taken out or reduced the percentages of the uh, individual alloy and ele elements that make up that material. So we're gonna talk about all of that on my next video. So I hope you tune in. And then uh, we're gonna, we're gonna sh I'm gonna show you that I don't think, uh, there's more to a socket than what you may think of. So we're gonna talk about that. So that's gonna be in the next video. But I um, just want to say once again, before I end this video, thank you guys for supporting my channel. We're nearly at 4,000 subscribers. When we hit that, we're going to be doing a giveaway. It's going to be a pretty awesome giveaway. Like I said before, I'm committing myself. I'm going to give away some tools and uh, we're going to have a high end, um, a really expensive tool that's going to go to some of my uh, loyal subscribers, people that have been with me for a long time who continuously comment. Uh, doesn't always have to be supportive comments. Sometimes they can call me out on some things if they don't like it, um, but they've been with the channel for the long time, and that's what we're talking about. They don't they don't have to be pro uh, Midwest Two Review here or on on my team all the time. They can they can express their their opinions, but the the point is that they always are part of my videos. And then we're gonna talk, we're gonna give a gift out to some newcomers. So whoever uh, we're gonna do, uh, I'm still trying to figure out the particulars. But we're going to look at people who have been commenting within, let's say, the last 10 videos that are fairly new to the channel, but they've been commenting regularly. And we're going to put their names in a hat as well. So we're going to do the loyal listeners, the loyal followers, and the new the newcomers. And we're going to give out a pretty awesome tool for each of those categories. So more to come on that. Um, make sure you guys, like I said before at the beginning of this video, make sure you follow me on Instagram at Midwest underscore tool underscore review. I'm always dropping new content. I'm always hit leaving um, awesome videos and um, photographs that I take throughout my day. Um, so make sure you guys are following me on there. Uh, let's see here, what else? And make sure you're subscribed to this, this channel. Make sure that you leave a comment. I always try to get to my comments and uh, let me know how you think we're doing. Uh, last, and, last but not least, thank you Right Tool for supporting the channel, guys. Make sure that you guys are checking out Right Tool American company, family owned, operated since 1927. One of the oldest tool manufacturing companies still in existence today. Um, go on their website, check out their, what they got to offer. Uh, if you're interested in buying some right tools, guys, you have to go through a distributor. 
Uh, they have all of that information for you on their website so you can easily navigate and find a local distributor in your area. And if by some chance you can't find a distributor in your area and you found something that you want, reach out to me. Let me know what it is. We'll take care of everything financially and we'll get the parts to you or the, the, the tools to you that you're looking for. So, um, all right, guys, I'm out. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.